Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to a brand new video. In this video today, we'll talk about, of course, the new signing. Ladiv Ramazani has signed for Leeds United. Leeds United have confirmed it. Um, I'll put the picture up here on the screen right now, but the picture they showed about, like, saying, oh, it's about to happen is a picture of a laptop with the Leeds United, you know, Twitter up with the away, the third kit next to it. And then there's a little, another tab with flight tracker on it, <laughs> which I thought was good. Um, so let's talk about him. So I'm on the Leeds United website right now. They've announced it, and I'm going to read what they said. What said? Leeds United are delighted to announce the permanent signing of Largi Ramazani on a four-year contract from Spanish side um, Almeria. So he has signed for four years, so a four-year deal. That's good. Um, for an undisclosed fee, subject to receive a work permit. Having spent time within the academy system in both Belgium and England early in his career, Ramazani moved to Spain in the summer of 2020. So he moved in the summer of 2020. He was instant success while at the UD Almeria Stadium after scoring in just his third appearance for the club. Before becoming a regular in the side, he scored five in a total in total in the 2021 campaign. So the 2020-2021 season, he scored five goals. The 21-22 season saw the Ford who can operate. Um, anywhere across the front line, as I've said in my um, in my stream, if you watch, you can play left wing, right wing, or striker. Um, play a pivot part in promotion for L um for L A Union by scoring nine goals as they won the C Segunda Division, something like that. I did, I've got that wrong probably, and went up to La Liga as champions. Um, his debut year in the top flight of Spanish football started impressively, scoring against both Real Madrid and Sevilla. So he scored against Real Madrid and Sevilla. Um, in, inside the opening three games of the season. Those performances on the pitch were rewarded with a call up to the Belgium under-21 side, where re with him showcased his talent once moved. By scoring in his first start for his country, he was since gone on, a, on to represent them eight times in the under-21 level, scoring three goals. So three goals in the under-21s in eight games. Um, last season, the, the now 23-year-old chipped in with eight goal contributions for Los Roj. Blanco, Blancos, um, and he has begun this campaign in fine form too and finding the back of the net in the opening match of the season. Yes, he did score in the opening game of the season in the Spanish second division. Ramazani now arrives at Ellen Road after making over 100 appearances for Almeria across both La Liga and the Sunda division, adding firepower along with experience to Daniel Fark's side, which is what we've needed, experience in the team, um, and just that extra player that can play on the wing. He might not start, you know, I'm fine if he doesn't start, to be honest, because we either have him or Dan James coming off the bench, because he does play mostly on the left, but then maybe we move Nonto to the right, but whoever we have on the bench, if it's him, Nonto, which I don't think it will be, or Dan James, that's fine, they've all... These, you know, they're all, they're, that's that's a strong bench, you know, that's strong to have off your bench. Um, everyone at Leeds United would like to welcome him to Ellen Road. he become the club's fifth signing arrival and will wear the number 17 shirt. So he's going to wear the number 17 shirt. Um, now if we go on to Sofa Score and look at, of course, other things. Of course, we talked about his heat map in the live stream. Playing mostly on the left side, but can also play on the right side. Playing through the middle occasionally, but not really that much. So he can play left wing, right wing striker, of course. He played a total of 29 games, starting 16 of them with uh, 54 minutes played, you know, netting three goals with an XG of 4.27. So maybe he should have scored two more goals than what he actually did score, but not far off, you know, good. Um, big chances missed that season, last season as well. He missed eight big chances. We proved that he gets into the positions. That's another thing. When you look at big chances missed, you go, okay, well, at least they start getting into those positions for chances, which I really like. Assist, he assisted five goals with an XA, so an expected assist of 2.4. So he exceeded his expectations on assist uh, by three, basically. Probably, like, what? Yeah, you'd say three. Um, and just other stats, but basically, um, with his dribbling, his successful dribbles are 45%. We can look at that. One thing you want to look at, um, he has seven yellow cards, two yellows to reds, and two straight reds. So he does get booked a lot, it seems like. Well, last season, he got booked a lot. Um, there was a thing that I saw on Twitter that he got he got a red card against someone and he called out the rest and told them all to F off and stuff. So <laughs> that's good at least. <laughs> we love telling the rest to fuck off. Um, <laughs> that's something we like doing because uh, they're all shit. Um, the season before that, he also played in La Liga, you know, playing 33 games, only starting 13 of them, um, playing 43 minutes per game, getting three goals with an XG of 4.1. So basically one goal under his XG, but only getting one assist in a season with an XA of 1.8, which means probably should have got two maximum. I'm excited for him at the club, and even if he doesn't start, he'll make an impact off the bench, you know. 
Um, so yeah, there's some other things I want to go through as well. I made some points that I want to talk about him. Um, firstly, don't look at him as the Somerville replacement. He's a more creative player than he's got than he's than he, than a goal scorer. So he's more of a, an assister and more of a player that's gonna play for the system and play for the rest of the team. And he's more of a creative player than a goal scorer. So don't look at his goals and be like, oh, he's not like Somerville. You know, he doesn't score. What did he score? Like sixteen goals. You know, he's more of a creative player. Um, which is exciting because I'm I'm happy with another creative winger. So just make sure you guys remember that when he does play, he's not really a goal scorer. He's more of a creative player. Um, but he can score, of course. Um, his ability to dribble, pass, and evade pressure. Um, he's got incredible balance and agility, like beating a man, being two, like spinning past players. He's good at that. Um, his positioning is also really good. So he's got very good positioning, um, being where he needs to be in the right places. As we saw when I said he's missed eight big chances. Um, and he created 10 big chances. I didn't mention that, sorry, boys, but he created 10 big chances in the same league, in the same season as well, showing that he's in the right positions and creating um, opportunities in the right position. So he's always in that, in where he should be. Um, he mixes up his game effectively by coming short, so he can come short and receive the ball and go on a run. Um, long, of course, so he can sprint on. Um, he stays wide. He stays wide, occupying the half space throughout a game. So he likes staying wide. He doesn't like coming in into the middle. He's more like, I'll come short, but I'll stay out wide. Um, more of a player that would do something like that. Um, he's he's definitely got the ability and vision to find teammates. So he's got the ability to find good passes into teammates, whether that's, of course, in behind or short and all that kind of stuff. Um, and was largely let down by his team last season. Um, yeah, he was largely let down by his team last season. As I just said, 10, goal, 10 big chances created last season, only getting five assists, I think it was. Um, yeah. Uh, below just... Uh, yeah, so yeah, basically, so he's a guy that will create chances and do all that kind of stuff that you need him to do. Um, and he got let down by his teammates last season. He probably say that means probably that means he should have got more assists than what he actually did, basically. Um, and he doesn't back away from a challenge, as we saw by the two straight reds, the two yellow to reds, and the seven yellow cards. So he's not afraid to make a challenge, go in, go in hard, even if he thinks he's going to win the ball or not. He's even if whenever it's a 50 50, he's going to go in and try and win the ball. So I'm excited to have him here. Whether he starts or not, that's a different question. Um, and let me know in the comment section down, what, section down below what you think of the signing. I think after this, my prediction now has kind of changed. I think we'll make three more signings. And I'm going to say two, counting him, so four in, four in general, I think two of them will be on deadline day. I think we'll make one more signing, and then we'll make two on deadline day. But it's confirmed. He's here at Leeds United um, on a four-year deal. And, yeah, so thanks for watching, the boys, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.